what it's like when you're not successful and your mother tells you about somebody who is? Did you know that Jack's son just sold his business for $90 million? <laughs> See, I didn't know that. But I'm glad she told me, because otherwise I wouldn't feel like <laughs> I'm here with Brad Zimmerman. He is the creator and the star of the play, My Son, the Waiter, A Jewish Tragedy. And we just saw a little clip, very funny stuff. And I was telling you when we sat down, I was reading up about you. The premise of this is very, very funny to me. Tell me what this is about. Uh, it's about a guy who has waited tables for 29 years and has had a myriad of amazing experiences, as you might imagine. Uh, for example, in My Son the Waiter, A Jewish Tragedy, which is what it's called. Uh, the last time, day that I waited tables, I was waiting on four elderly Jewish women. So I walked up to the table, I said, ladies, is anything all right? <laughs> you know, so there's a lot of that kind of stuff. Um, so it is your story. Totally my story. Everything is authentic, true, true to life. You know, truth is funny. Well, the stories you could tell, and I'm sure you do, but it's not just a comedy, or it would be just called a comedy. It's Absolutely. Actually, it's a hybrid, you were telling me. Explain, explain the difference well, and what that the, is. Well, the, the stand-up, you know, that I use when I work with some very famous comedians like when I worked with Carlin or I still work with Joan Rivers, is very funny. The Jewish mother, you know, uh, how much longer do you think you're going to give the acting? Yeah, you don't 29 wanna, years. You don't want to work have heard that quite Oh, a bit. sweetheart, you have no idea, you know. And she says, as long as you're happy, that's all I care about. If, if you look in the Jewish mother to English dictionary, that means as long as you're rich, I'm happy. You know what I'm saying? So, but when, when I say that it's, it's a hybrid, the theater part is, you know, it, it's the life of a struggling artist is not all funny. You know, it's dealing with staying the course. It's dealing with um, the mother. It's dealing with a father who, who didn't see his son uh, get to this point. He only saw me wait tables. Mm -hmm. So that's something you live with. Well, I think a lot of people could translate, even if it isn't being an actor or this any of their pursuit of totally. their dreams. It can translate. It, it, there were so this many people who this resonates floor. for because it's universal. Um, and I want to say, you're playing at the Herberger. You've been in town for a couple weeks. You're here through February 2nd. Yes. So a little bit of time left. Um, again, it took you 29 years to get to the point where you're at. Have you found it then? Have, are you? Did you find success? Did you uh, find what you're looking for? That's a great question. Uh, somebody once said, said, if you're happy, you're successful. Whereas my mother thinks success is determined by your income, so either way I'm unsuccessful. That's a joke. <laughs> but I've reached a point where now, where as I used to have to juggle bills, which should I pay because it day to day, which sure. is, I have money. And uh, that's not what, how I determine success. I determine, I wrote something that took 10 years and it's one of a kind, it stands on its own, it reaches people. It's genuine. Good, I'm glad to hear it. Uh, still chances to get your tickets. If you want some more information, you can go to playhouseinfo.com. Again, Brad Zimmerman here through February 2nd. His play, My Son, The Waiter, A Jewish Tragedy, is a must-see. Uh, I have to ask you one more question before I let you go. I'm guessing, after being a waiter for 29 years, you are an exceptional tipper. Uh, uh, absolutely. Thank you, Brad, for joining us. Um, good luck for the rest of your stay. Thank you very in much. In Arizona, and The Better Arizona Show will be right back.